<clears throat> well, universe, it's 7.09, which means it's 4.09 somewhere. Pick up a rag. Um, it's 7.09 Mountain Standard Time, <clears throat> 30th, of no uh, 30th of November. And uh, <clears throat> that means that with roughly four hours and 50 minutes, or as I like to say, 290 minutes left in the month, Well, I got nothing. Do you bring anything? You, <laughs> what are you even doing here? I mean, seriously, what are you doing here? You can't possibly want to listen to what I have to say next, so if you didn't bring a list. All right, fine. We'll go off my list. I mean, I have two episodes left to finish up the question, do you have a point, with some emphasis of, hopefully yes, which is why I thought I'd give you the penultimate episode. Is this penultimate? No. Whatever. I was dedicating this one to the users, the call-in episode. The lines are open. Let's just take uh, whatever the users have on their minds. No, I, I, of course I didn't. None of that's true. Because nobody talks on my show but me. Well, in my Tyler Durden-esque buddy Lily Mae Eaton. But the two of us, it's our show. There is no Edward Norton here. But if he was here, oh my God, I would totally be like, Edward, Edward, sit down. You gotta play, you, you gotta be on my recording. But could I possibly hit the pause button if he was here? No, because I'd be so nervous. Oh my God, it'd be Edward Norton. Is he Edward Norton Jr.? Did he lose his junior? Was that a Mandela effect? I don't know. Okay, universe. Well, and, and the, you know, another thing, another reason I wanted to dedicate tonight to the listeners was I just, I don't know. I don't have, you know, I'm a little, I'm just a little, I think. What? Over-recorded? Maybe I've said too much. Maybe I'm overexposed at this point. Well, and I mean, I don't really want to bring it up, but the whole thing with the tortoise and having the reaction I'm having to that, the emotional, um, what, volume that's in play is certainly unexpected, as is the direction that that turned. So, if, um, if I have to suck it up, though, and come to grips here, do something of value for all of us, I mean, what, are we going to wait for me to get a tortoise and then have an emotional moment so I can fulfill that other part? That seems like it would take a long time. So, how about I just stop being a pain in the ass and uh, show up to the meeting like we all scheduled? Finding the pause button, that, oh boy, yeah, I have no idea what I was talking about, which is why I think this would be a great time to talk about the things you should know if you're going to listen to this, right? Things you should know if you're going to listen to this, or anything in the future, is I mumble, and I talk slowly, so turn the speed up to at least 1.5, and plan on going, wait, what did he just say, and then re-listen and go, Wait, what did he just say? And then re-listen and go, okay, I don't even give a shit what he just said. Second. <clears throat> mm, shall I say more? Okay, number two. I smoke a lot of weed. Guaranteed I'm going to smoke it during the uh, conversations that I have with myself. If this is not your thing, abandon me. Shit. Or go to the back of the class, start doodling in your notebook, and say, maybe if it gets interesting, I'll pay attention, but until then, you know what I'm going to do? Aerobicize? Jazzercise? Commercialize? I don't know, what kind of sizing are you doing over there? Boy, that's one of my worst jokes ever. <clears throat> Alright. So expect some of this. Wait, which end did we get? Oh.
three. Well, what is that, dude? <sighs> sure doesn't sound like the smoking weed I did back in high school. You're right. What that is, that is concentrated weed extract that is then placed into a, a I believe, five, 600 degree hot titanium nail bowl that instantly vaporizes the product and allows you to uh, ingest more quantities, more particular quantities, and less carcinogenic. That's not tested, nor is that even proven, so that is not a word that needs to have been said. But I don't edit, so rather than rewind and delete, what I will say is I cough when I smoke the uh, concentrates, but I really cough when I just straight smoke green. And when I straight smoke green, I smoke it out of a pipe or I smoke it out of a water bong with very little water, if any water in it whatsoever. I smoke it the harshest way possible. I might as well put it on my lips, lie flat on my back, and then just light my lips on fire and smoke. It's about, uh, well, it's one step removed from that because there's a glass pipe involved, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, there will also be talk of all kinds of drug use. Not even mine necessarily, but not always Clinton's either. Sometimes his though. All right, and then of course, CIA, the FBI, the MI, MI6, uh, NSA, um, ASN, um, CBS, ABC, uh, NBC, sometimes MSNBC, most of the time, any of the major bureaucracies. Well, of course, they are categories and characters that have to be addressed. Whether they're a category or a character depends on the day. So expect some mockery of that which is institutional America. In fact, straight up, well, expect me to have too much saliva in my mouth to speak, as well as to be so dry mouthed I can't get the words out. Expect the sniffles, expect coughing, expect John Unplugged. I don't edit, I don't bring notes, once in a while I do. I usually don't. I don't have anything, I, I'm not looking at anything except my dog and my cat. And the mountain of laundry I still have to do. And now I'm saying, hello Captain, to a Captain Crunch box of cereal that's sitting on my headboard. So, my life's about as glamorous as... Uh, what? A mass mailing that you pick out of your evening mail thinking, why do they even send me these? What, what, what do, how do they make money doing this? Well, that's my life, that mass mailing. But that doesn't mean I don't have something of interest to share. Um... But you can expect me to go all over the place because when you open that mass mailer, do you really know what kind of coupons are in there until you actually look? Well, yeah, some of them are obviously going to be for carpet cleaning. But do you know what the rest of them are going to be? Okay, yeah, one of them will for sure be to go to a nursing school. Another one will certainly be to attend cosmetology school. And another one's going to be to investing gold and silver coins that just got minted yesterday or will be minted next week. But do you know what else is in there? Yeah, probably subway coupons. <sighs> Do we always know what's in those things? Well, like a Brock's candy sampler, you know, and oh God, never mind. I'll go back to, uh, no, nope, nope. Yeah. <sighs> Quarreling with the pause says, always pause. Right, Confucius? I don't know if Confucius actually weighed in on this one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on, kitty. It's not that bad. Okay. What's all the celebration? Well, Superman, we remembered that you were actually Spider-Man. All right. I'll admit, the 
Doby Gillis, Toby McGuire reference was obviously intentional, but I didn't mean to put him in. I'm recording? Of course I am. I didn't mean to put him in the Superman suit. Okay. Here's one thing I will say about freestyling. You say stuff that you have no idea you said until you listen to yourself again, and you even have to rewind it then to say, wait, did I just say Superman? Hold on. Did I just say Superman? Fuck, I just said Superman. I just said Superman. I meant Spider-Man. I thought I said Spider-Man. Obviously, Tobey Maguire was never Superman. Well, not in the movies. And so, I know exactly who Spider-Man is. I know exactly who Superman is. And I know exactly what Tobey Maguire playing Spider-Man was. Even including his disco Travolta routine. Maybe this was my mind saying, middle finger to you, Tobey Maguire for Spider-Man 3. Maybe. Maybe my subconscious wanted to say, we'll call it Superman just to poke Toby in the spider eye. You don't think so, Humphy? Well, I do hate when I make just bad mistakes. But it has taught me that we're all capable of making a really stupid statement, even though we really thought we said something else. And so, when I thought I was already an A-plus at forgiving, I'm now still an A-plus. <laughs> so, another thing you should expect is a little bit of conceit and zero inhibitions. You definitely need to expect profanity. Uh, you should expect my dog to snore. Um, you should expect moments of contemplation, but you should just, you should expect that I don't speak without trying to say something of value. I respect the time that I put into this just as much I would res as I would respect the time of somebody having having to listen somebody choosing to listen <clears throat> why would you be listening I really don't know I really don't know I really don't know I really don't know <laughs> I, re I really don't know I can imagine listening to three or four minutes at a time but I don't even listen to the one hour plus ones. I have. I mean, I was there. And I've listened to every one at least one more time. Not with my lips pursed while I was kissing it, but, you know. Um, all of this is to say that I'm also very uncomfortable with this level of exposure. Because this level of exposure is very new to me. Now, I'm not that uncomfortable with it. It's not like, you know, walking naked through Walmart. Which anymore, I mean, really, how uncomfortable would that even be? But to be this exposed huh, to myself, I suppose? Well, it gets more comfortable every day. So it, I can even hear the hesitancy, the, hmm, the unsuredness of voice, even as I come out commanding the moment of, here's one thing I'm very, 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 very almost sure about, about if I could say I was confident on anything, I'd start with something close to what this is. So you can also expect me to constantly wonder if I'm right, to look for data that says I'm not. And to either face that data head on to believe more so that I'm right, or to get stuck in the quandary of that data and what does it prove now? Well, those questions don't scare me at all. In fact, where are those questions? So I will be looking for solutions with a good attitude, 
through self-reflection and respectful analysis. Oh, and there will be crying. There will be crying. I cry. Lot, lot, lots of crying. And some laughing. And like I said, turn the speed up. Turn it up, 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 turn it up. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up. 1.75, 1 1.95, 1 1.275, at least, if you're crazy, because that's so slow, goes so much faster. Apparently you should expect some drool. Check that, Phoebe, out. Oh, check that out, Phoebe, even. Ah, oh, Phoebe, you don't even want to get up and see my drool? Okay, that's kind of the things you should expect from me. Expect me to gap out for a while when I'm without my voice, have nothing of value to say. Too busy playing in the bathtub, making farts turn into jacuzzi like Eddie Murphy. No, 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 we don't do that in our bathtub, do we, V? Nope, nope, there's no jacuzzi bathtub. We take showers. But, <clears throat> if you got through all that, and you know the Picking your character sheet shit was bullshit because you're always in character. You're just morphing through the character needed at the moment. You've learned why my mom is so resistant to assistance. I've talked to you about my lottery government idea. Um, I corrected the fact that there are twice as many words that have work as their root as there are play. It sounds like I said it the other way around. We've done the straight line ramp versus Parabola, Android ICU, I corrected. Um, flushed out to centers. Uh, the line, towing the line. Once you've chosen good or evil, are you pot committed? I'm looking. Oh, I'm losing the fight against technology. Man, I, I mean. Print history textbook. Hmm. I still don't know what that one says. Print history. Huh. Well, I might just cut that little corner because it is right on the corner of the actual piece of paper. I might just cut that little corner off. Keep it for posterity's sake. Next to my wardrobe malfunction right here. Okay. We went through the Coca-Cola study. Well, I mean, we we did it my way. Uh, take over the authoritative process. Yep. Become the experts. Control the information. Censorship takes hold. Promote truth overtly and subliminally. Boy, I mean, good on us. Reap the rewards 25 years later. Yeah. Oh. Promote your truth overtly and subliminally. Whatever you want to declare as truth. And 25 years later, what do you reap? The rewards of... Well, you know that's true. Fuck. Weren't you a baby? Didn't you see the Coca-Cola commercials with the hydration comparison to water where they proved it was more hydrating? Hello? We were, live in a world where we already know that. <laughs> we do? Awesome. Okay. So then, what was the part about the media? Control continues through the media via leaks, misstatements of facts, time, list, time, see, time, un, time, hmm, oh, timely squelching of dissent, and narrative lips working in Congress. That spooky uh, uh, Sinclair Broadcasting Group, 149 different uh, news regions, all with what looks like an off-the-cuff sort of end-of-the-evening story that is, in fact, spoken exactly the same across all markets. That one, if that doesn't put a little poop in your pants... Well, you're not a baby. 
how many uh-ohs can go my way? Yeah, how many can? You know those things where, like, <clears throat> you're carrying stuff to the kitchen, and you know there's a precariously placed knife in that second plate, and it's that carving knife that you know is actually the only sharp knife in the house, and you feel it dislodge as you move to place the dishes into the sink, which means it's about to go down toward both your bare feet which it falls directly between and lodges in the floor in without making another move. Whoo, that was lucky. I have had a ton of those events lately. And not just the klutzy ones that go in my favor. No, like um what was the uh what was the oh, it was the the um the lid to these um, these concentrates, these marijuana concentrates, they come in these little uh, uh, one ounce increments or four ounce at the max increments in what I suppose the closest would be like some woman's uh, makeup, uh, uh, discreet makeup uh, item that maybe is she's putting on with her finger, like a little eyelash. I I don't know, I don't know what women I don't know what fucking makeup is right, but. What else could that be? It is, it's the size of a half dollar. It is the height of a Snickers bar from the 30s. So it's more like the height of a pack of cigarettes on its flat side. And on its flat side? Does that make sense? Probably. Huh. Um, so it's about an inch tall. It's about an inch and a half around. I mean, across its diameter. And why am I telling this? Oh, oh, oh. So I had a group of six of them or nine of them. I don't know. There was a group, a cluster of them. And I had the lid to one of them. All the others had their lid on. And it was in the back corner area. Like there's no question that it was, in fact, if anything, I could have knocked it off the deck, off the table easily. It was, there was nothing between it and falling right off the table. So, as I'm looking at the progress, or the, pro the prognosis of, can I even get this thing into the area? Do I, have to, do I have to lean over, take a full step? I mean, do I have to actually move my body to the extent that I have to move my foot all the way out there, step my weight over, transition, maneuvering gravity? Do I have all that energy? Or can I just throw this thing onto that group and deal with it later? Well, being a guy who, when I throw things like that, generally that means it's going to bounce up. All sorts of shit's going to go wrong, right? So I'm like, ah, fuck it. And I throw it over, and it lands and circles in to the goddamn open one. As if I screwed it on. And this is like, and, and I'll admit, it wasn't secure tight, but it was on. It was on the damn container. So... <laughs> So bullshit did I think the shot was that it could even happen that I tried to do it again a hundred times, maybe two. I sat here and threw that lid again and again. I never even came close. And I knocked it off the table a few times. Not only that, but I knocked numerous other shit off. I had so many bad throws and then never came close, never came close to recreating the shot. And I have had a lot of those recently. That is not like me at all. My first shot without thinking about stuff is often so ridiculously good, it stuns me in the aftermath. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so... Yeah. I believe we actually did this whole thing. Oh, did I leave McAfee off the suicided list? I might have. If I did, he was a big oversight. Because he's second on my list, right behind Epstein. <laughs> I'm pretty sure McAfee is dead, but Epstein, please. He's playing golf. Probably with OJ. All right, um... 
Can we get through the rest of this? Can we get through the other side of this? Oh, what can we do here? Can we... Should we pause for one of those sublime moments of bong hit investedness? Yes. And obviously, this is group play along with me. That would be you. You're in the group. So, what I'm saying is, go take a bong hit, right? For all of us. <clears throat> okay, but I can't even hit the bong without saying, Murray Head, Murray Head, Murray Head, not Falco, Murray Head. I mm -hmm. oh, did you did you see the Superman movie with Tobey Maguire? It's fucking awesome. Oh, and ah, oh, two hundred three is prime. I'm so out of practice. The easy primes to identify are the 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 ones one off, the big ones. Meaning, what's seven times fifty? Three hundred fifty. So what's a not prime number? 343, 357, right? Easies. Easy peasy. Like 203. I actually did a paper drop, like a mic drop, when I said, like, 203. I'm such a dork. Um, there's also a note on here. I know at some point in one of the last two or three episodes, I was talking about behaviors my my girlfriends would eventually find tiresome as I repeated them over and over again. I might have even been at this point speaking about taking the uh, the skin in the game through that passive aggressive maneuvering of, well, if I do this for you, what am I going to get back from you? Eh, you know, that shit. But I don't think that was actually it. But I do know that no matter what it was that I was trying to reference, I know another thing my ex-girlfriends found even more challenging and more tiresome and uh, probably a bigger pain in the ass was all the fucking cheating. Seriously. Just, if I had to guess. Okay, well, that only leaves two more distinct thoughts on this whole sheet. This whole sheet will be done. That's impressive. If you saw this sheet, you would be like, we got that all done? Yes, we did. Sorry, baby. Threw that right in your face. Um... So we'll get back to those last two shots on there, because I want to see if there's anything in here that keeps me holding on to this box from the U.S. Postal Service. Um, is there a $100 bill in here? Nope. More lists! Oh! Okay. Let's not look in the box yet. Bye-bye smartphone. Okay. Yep. Um, how does one's atheism bubble get threatened? How does it pop? Okay, this actually might be an interesting box to keep. Have I been trained to be patient? <laughs> Lily wrote something on here. Lily. We all live with the knowledge that our reality could crash down on us forever, derailing our story. <laughs> Lily wrote another thing on here. Live for the swirl. No, that, and I've not read Lily's, trust me. What's going right? Work, balance, intent, conviction, fuel, minimalizing, cat. Not so much. Dog, money, uh, household, health, phase two, and another Lily peanut gallery comment. Okay. So, we'll keep this because there's three other things on here that are also rather deep and of, I guess, next segment quality. So, the final two on the note that is, do you have a point? Well, one of these is pretty easy. <clears throat> because one of them is, I think, something we all agree on. Or, if you don't agree yet, you're on your way to agreeing with me. Which is, if somebody puts an overt advertisement in front of me, it's enough for me not to buy the product. Hamilton tickets. I'll never see Hamilton. Because apparently that's what you think I want to buy most this holiday season. Oh, insert this ad here, marketers. If I see another Hamilton ad... Well, it's all, you've already jumped the shark, so I'll just look at it and think, more reason not to buy the product. In fact, 
I do that with every single advertisement I see. If there's an ad in a magazine for Crest, the next time I go to the store, I buy Colgate. I hate ads. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. And there's dog poop all over their shoes. Last but not least. Well, kind of least. Would my... I don't know about her, I don't know about him, son or daughter, should they discover who I am, think I'm worth coming to find? Well, on paper, that's a big fat no. No. 